empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking but there's no time so it's too cold in Asun Seoul. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the review of that Java Pirak. Okay. So did you like it? Yes. It is pretty good. Okay. So let's watch it. So before you see, just enjoy the cinematic shots of this motorcycle. <laughs> This is key position, this is unconventional speedometer. In the left hand side you can see this is the pass switch. This is the upper dipper. This is indicator. This is horn and horn sound is pretty much okay. And in other hand you can see this is ignition switch and this is the self start button. Now listen the exhaust note of this motorcycle. So as if now you can see that I am riding Java Pirak okay, and at it in Asansol. So I have taken it from Asansol Java showroom which is situated in Ushagram and as you can see that uh, as I have ridden this uh, Java Pirak uh, and I am going to give you the review of this motorcycle. So this motorcycle is uh, fuel injected which generates 30 bhp of power with bs6 uh, nominee uh, bs6 emission and the engine displacement is 334 cc and the single cylinder engine and it, its max torque is 32.74 newton meter torque so and it is having sing, uh, uh, per cylinder one spur plug and it has a liquid cooled system and having three, six speed manual so i just want to tell you one thing that this motorcycle is absolutely brilliant uh, by nature and uh, while i hop on into the motorcycle i feel this motorcycle is slightly longer from the petrol tank to the handlebar and to the headlight and everything is too huge so especially i like 
the way it looks okay and it's very eye catchy so whenever i rode this motorcycle everybody is looking at me while i'm riding this motorcycle and now to talk about the riding quality uh yes this bike is smooth enough okay and very low so this motorcycle is absolutely brilliant for the shorter rider so those who are uh five four okay or five three so this motorcycle for them and but yes this uh, motorcycle comes with single seat so you cannot add a secondary seat or the pillion seat but yes i have seen in youtube that there are lots of modification centers those who are installing the rear seat as well but it is not recommended because this motorcycle particularly designed in such a way so that you can carry uh, yourself only into this motorcycle not any pillion uh so yes that's the thing uh, that's the thing which i want to tell you and now that there is another thing which i like about this motorcycle that uh, the you know the smoothness this bike is obviously very smooth even though it is a single cylinder engine but you know nowadays each and every motorcycle is very smooth because of bs6 emission and another thing which i need to tell you that yes in higher range this bikes uh, this bike is vibrating but it's very mild vibration if you are expert rider then only you can feel that vibration but uh, normally you will not okay so if i'll rev the motorcycle hard then only i can feel that vibration into the handlebar but in seat i'm not getting any vibration uh now to talk about the seat i just want to tell you one thing the suspension because the monosock has been you know uh, attached with the rear seat so the suspensions are a little bit uh no uh tougher side because uh, i can literally feel all the bumps and the potholes into my bump so that's the reason i just want to tell you one thing okay I don't know that option is there or not to uh, lose the suspension but I just want to tell you one thing that it is not also recommended because uh, because this seat height of this motorcycle is very low okay so it is not at all recommended because even though it is hard so if I will cross any huge bump or any huge pothole it uh, that means the bump literally i can hear the sound because the lower part of the motorcycle hits into the bump so that's the reason i was uh, I, um, it's not recommended to uh, no, lose this you know uh, lose this uh, shocker okay uh, but yes uh, this motorcycle is good for touring purposes or not obviously looking at the soccer it's not recommended to uh, do a touring long tour with this motorcycle because you never know that in you will get a sudden pothole or in this kind of bumps so it will definitely hit the lower part of the bike and as well as i just want to tell you one thing that uh, this bike is not good for touring purposes because of the stiffer suspension because normally if you see that the bikes which is good for long tours they do have a softer suspension so that it will uh, if you are getting this kind of you no know, unconventional road obviously you can easily uh, that soccer can absorb the jerkiness into that uh, of that pothole okay so that's the reason i just want to tell you one thing that this motorcycle is not at all good for long tour so and another thing which i don't like that uh, this bike doesn't have any kind of uh, you know l uh, that means luggage carrying capability because if i'll tell you one thing that this bike doesn't have any kind of place where in, where you can mount your luggages so this this is the only one good part that this motorcycle comes with a metal tank so yes you can add a you know metallic that means that a magnetic tank bag into the tank but uh, there is no other way you can there you cannot add any saddle bag or anything as such okay because of the same reason because the seat height is very low and if you are adding the saddle bag obviously there is no place for to add the saddle bag and if you are trying to do that 
but even though it will not good for you because the suspension because in a two side there's a uh, it comes with a dual silencer so it is not recom it is not recommended to add a saddle bag with this motorcycle okay because in a long tour maybe it will harm your saddle bag so which is not at all recommended now uh, yes this motorcycle is very good uh, if you are taking it for a sunday ride okay so yes just like you know just like that uh, royal enfields um it's like that the royal enfields uh that motorcycle that uh, continental gt sorry about that i forgot the name yes so if you are doing a sunday ride so obviously this motorcycle is good for you and another thing is that uh, if you are single and if you are riding this motorcycle for 200 km and come back in the same day yes this motorcycle good for you but if you are thinking that you can do a long tour then i would recommend that you should avoid this motorcycle and another thing that if you are the been trying to take a eye catchy motorcycle yes you can do that you can take this motorcycle because trust me while i'm standing in a signal or while i'm riding this motorcycle everybody is looking at me and literally they are just uh no literally they are just discussing with themselves that uh you know he's riding java parak it's very nice and all that so obviously you can take it as a feedback from them as well and uh another thing which i uh, like about this motorcycle is the the retro charm the retro feel because it comes with a spoke wheel so obviously you can expect that this kind of retro feel you can get by riding this motorcycle okay so with a half helmet which is also not recommendable because obviously you should ride you should take a full covered helmet while you are riding but yes for sunday rides who cares right so yes uh, this motorcycle is good for them and uh, another thing which i like about this motorcycle to talk, talk about the retro charm because i was telling you about the you know uh, the wheel okay so this motorcycle is a tubed uh, tire you will get it with a tube tire and uh, but the tire quality is a tubeless okay so in showroom it was told to, uh, it was told that uh, it can take up to three punctures because after third puncture you need to replace the tube okay so yes you can get a good quality of the tire but yes it comes with uh, a tube because obviously it is having that uh, spoke wheel base yes you can do uh, you can do you can change the tire okay so you can make it to a tubeless but you need to go with an aftermarket treatment but yes i would suggest you to do a rnd before you uh, make this kind of changes because it may it will change the quality of the motorcycle may it will uh, may it will avoid the warranty of the motorcycle so yes again it's not recommendable but anyways see look those mod uh, look those guys so they are exact literally you no know, looking at my motorcycle now to talk about the clutch it is a slightly hard okay uh, so yes another thing which i don't like about this motorcycle and another thing which i don't like about this motorcycle is the gear okay it's extremely hard okay so literally you need to push hard but yes uh, what i feel so what i have uh, understood by the showroom guys okay so they are telling that yes this mod the, it is having the issue with the particular this motorcycle uh, okay but yes if you are taking it uh the actual motorcycle when you are taking the delivery of the motorcycle you will not feel that okay because otherwise the gear uh, shifting is very smooth okay so one thing which i feel that while i'm riding this motorcycle the heat because i'm riding this motorcycle with my normal shoes okay and i can literally feel the heat of the engine into my uh, feet so it is uh, recommendable that if you're riding this motorcycle that definitely you should go with an uh, you know with a sport shoe or any boot okay because i can literally feel that our high ankle uh, boot because i literally feel the you know hit into my uh, feet okay so it is not at all recommendable because the uh, the engine hits up a lot first of all and the second thing that it radiates the heat uh, towards outside and if you are riding this motorcycle in a busy traffic like this 
so the radiator turns on all the time okay just like it here motorcycles okay so literally i can hear the sound of the radiator so this motorcycle is very good uh, yes if you are a single rider and if you want uh, to do a you know a sunday ride or a tea ride or something like that this motorcycle absolutely spot on for you but yes if you are using it in a daily to daily basis it's not recommendable because uh, first of all that if you are going in an office or something and uh, this motorcycle is not that great for you first of all that it this bike uh, is you know getting that heat okay the first of all the first reason and the second reason is that the height because this has the tendency to touch the uh, the lower part of the motorcycle okay into the certain pothole or in a bump or any speed breaker so it is not recommendable and the third thing which i don't like about this motorcycle that the unconventional speedo because it's very small and all on top on top of that it going in reverse so it will take a lot of time to get it adjusted and the third and the fourth thing which i don't like about the bar and mirror because it will not give you the correct uh, visibility so it is not recommended to take it in a daily daily basis so let's get back to home and i will discuss the positive and the negative aspects of this motorcycle so first thing first which i like about this motorcycle is the design element because this motorcycle has that retro charm okay so the lower wheel base the bobble look and everything so it looks spot on according to me and you can get a retro charm or the retro feel by riding this motorcycle and on top of that the you know spoke wheel i know because it doesn't come with a tubeless tire but still uh, if i'll talk about the design element leaving the practicality then this motorcycle is absolutely spot on while i'm riding this motorcycle everybody is just looking at me that what kind of motorcycle he was riding or he's riding and uh, on top of that he were they are asking me in a signal that uh, what bike is that how much does it price how uh, how much mileage it gives in a busy traffic or all of that okay so they are literally asking me this kind of question so okay so uh, i feel that nowadays the and nowadays this uh, now these people are more tends to take a retro motorcycle rather than the conventional sports motorcycle and all of that but yes the sport motorcycle has its own fan base but uh, but people like this motorcycles as well so yes uh, companies those who are making motorcycles so you can take the pulse of the people so yeah that's the first thing which i like about this motorcycle the second thing which i like about this motorcycle is the seat height so those who are uh five uh three five four this motorcycle is absolutely good for you but again i'm telling you that you have to consider that it has a single seat so you will not get the extended seat or something like that and please don't try to do that because this motorcycle has the look i can understand that there are lots of modifications is coming into the picture but uh, by riding this motorcycle i don't feel i'm not getting that confidence to add another seat or something like that okay so please don't do that right the third thing which i like about this motorcycle this bike is smooth enough because obviously each and every motorcycle in bs6 emission everything every bike is smooth but still i just want to tell you one thing that single cylinder engine but still the smoothness level is extremely good and another thing which i like about this i need to mention over here the apart from smoothness that the um it has a mild vibration but yes you will not get that vibration into the handlebar or into the seat very often uh, yes those who are expert rider they can literally feel that vibration but otherwise you will not feel that vibration into the handlebar or the uh, into the seat okay on um, i didn't feel this vibration into the seat but in handlebar yes i do get it but yes i feel that is a mild vibration okay so obviously you are riding a single cylinder engine so you will get it now the fourth thing which i like about this motorcycle is the uh, the exhaust note okay because the exhaust note is pretty much good okay and i literally feel that i'm riding a twin cylinder engine but trust me being a single cylinder engine i didn't expect this kind of growl from the exhaust okay so these are the things which i like about this motorcycle so now talk i'll talk about uh, some things which i don't like or it's can be improved okay. first of all the things which i don't like about this motorcycle that if you are investing 2.3 lakh definitely 
uh, you cannot expect this kind of motorcycle okay those uh, the motorcycle which is specially good for looking purposes because you cannot take it for a long ride because of the lower suspension or the lower uh, seat height and that because uh, every time as i was mentioning that every if you are getting any sudden pothole or something like that you will literally can hear the sound that the that the base of the motorcycle hits into the you no know, ground so don't ride in a long tour or something like that with this motorcycle because this motorcycle is not uh, this motorcycle cannot absorb the you know the sudden pothole and all of that because suspension is a little bit in a stiffer side okay so yes so first thing that the height and the second thing again i'm mentioning the suspension the suspensions are little bit in a hard so you can literally feel the shock or the bumps or the speed breakers into your lower back so it is not recommendable to take it in a you know on a long tour the second thing which i don't like and the third thing which i don't like that there is no place for adding a secondary seat or there is no uh, a saddle back can be added uh into this motorcycle because why i'm telling you because the uh, it had it first of all the wheels are very small and very tiny and there is no other places where you can mount your saddle bag and all all, all that so please uh, those who are having a plan to take this motorcycle in a long tour just i want to keep you remind that this motorcycle has the dual exhaust and if you are uh, by any chance if you are uh, you know attach a a saddle bag or something like that may it uh, end up with a mess up which i don't want you to do that okay so this is the first, uh, second thing which i don't like about this yes you can add a tank bag okay uh, because it is it comes with a metal tank so you can expect that you can add uh you can add that you uh, know magnetic tank bag into this motorcycle but yes the magnetic tank bag doesn't have that capacity to carry more luggage so yeah the, this is the third thing which i don't like about this motorcycle and the fourth thing which i don't like about this motorcycle is the brake yes uh the the rear brake i'm not getting that confidence but the front back brake is absolutely spot on as i have mentioned because while i'm pressing the rear brake so i don't it is giving me the reverse okay reverse kind of a feel into this motorcycle though it comes with a 12 channel abs mm, but the rear abs is working but not that great uh the the front brake is absolutely spot on and it has a longer wheelbase it's very good to maneuver the motorcycle i can understand but it comes with the bar and small mirrors so if you are planning to take it in a daily to daily ride or in a daily to daily office purposes so you cannot take it because you have to maneuver the motorcycle the maneuverability is absolutely good but to do a maneuvering in a busy traffic you should have a proper mirror and the bar and mirrors are very small very tiny but yes uh, you 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 will get that option to add mirror into the handle bar but again i'm telling you that if you are adding the uh that that mirrors into the handlebar so obviously it will uh it will hamper the looks of this motorcycle or the charms of the motorcycle so yes these are the things which i don't like of this motorcycle otherwise this motorcycle is good enough okay not that great but yes and trust me uh, the way the engine characteristic the way the engine gives the punch sudden punch i literally tell you that it has that potential to compete royal enfield okay that kind of engineering java is doing in terms of engine refinement okay so yes if java will look into this uh, look into this parts of this motorcycle this motorcycle is one of the remarkable motorcycle in our next few years okay so that's all from my end guys so if you like this video you can give a like button and if you don't like this video you can give a thumbs down button but don't forget to subscribe my channel that is the bangalorean bong and another thing which i like to tell you that uh, don't forget to follow me on instagram instagram id is at the rate the bangalorean bong and my facebook page is also at the rate the bangalorean bong and you can uh, give a like button you can get all of the update and everything into that uh, instagram and as well as facebook you can ask me question over there you can ask me in comment section as well so that's all from my end guys so i have to end up this video with a sweet note so take care bye bye and Have last.